Gabriel and Rivki Holzberg. Sandra, we have to appreciate on behalf of our old Jewish nation. You saved for us the future of the wonderful family. You was such an angel that God gave you the strength to save such a wonderful kid that he will be with us today. Only one person from wonderful family. These were such special people. People who are such refined people. People who never said no to anyone. There was nothing that was too hard for them. There was nothing that they couldn't do. They traveled to help an individual Jew. They were individuals who cared for each and every person that came into contact with them. Why did you cut us off in the middle in such a beautiful fashion? And to the shluchim in the whole world. This is the time to take strength. This is not the time to ask questions. This is not the time to think. This is the time to do. We will answer the terrorists. The, the, the answer how to handle them will leave to governments. We will not fight them with AK-47s. We will not fight them with grenades. We will not fight them with tanks. The Rebbe taught us, A little candle in the room lights up the whole room. Such brutal darkness can only be fought by torches. By torches of goodness and kindness and light. But what do I tell you? The joy that a son was born to them. He was the apple of their eye. They loved him so and they loved him so dearly you don't have an idea. You are our child. You're a shliach of the Rebbe and you will remain a shliach of the Rebbe forever. We will do everything in Chabad Lubavitch to see that you have everything that you need. Gabi Rivki, I say goodbye to you. You are good friends. You are shluchim par excellence. Lehoye shluchim keelu. Ani loyedei lama shos Hashem kacha. Avomani yachol agid lachem. We love you and we will miss you. All of us are mourning and terribly broken and deeply pained and saddened. We have no, no answers, but we all know that we will not let these martyrs, Gabi and Rifki and all the others, their guests, that died with them around their Chabad house table, to go in vain. Yoni, we understand that the chief rabbis, President Paris, Defense Minister Barak, and former Prime Minister Netanyahu, and other dignitaries were there. Who did you meet in the crowd? There were many people here attending this funeral, of course the family members, many Chabad Hasidim from throughout Israel, and also many people who feel that they are family with uh, Rebbe Gavriel and Rivki, the Chabad Shlichim, the emissaries of the uh, Hasidut of Chabad from places around the world. They came from other locations here in order to take part in this important and uh, very difficult funeral. We lost our, two of our family members, Gavi and Rivki Oldsberg. But it's also a day of resolve to continue the work that they did, bringing light into the world, helping their fellow man, encouraging everyone they came in contact with to do another good deed, to do another mitzvah. That's what they lived their life for. That was the cause.